Good day, Dino friends, and welcome back to Build a Boat for Treasure Tycoon. That's right. I've been working on a Build a Boat for Treasure Tycoon game for the last few weeks. I kind of forgot to tell the people on YouTube. Sorry, guys. So this is my this is going to be my announcement for YouTube. Everyone who's been watching the streams knows I've been working on this for like two or three weeks now. Honestly, I feel like we're going pretty fast. Um, some of the viewers are helping me and if you want to help as well, you can design because I'm still looking for droppers. So far, I only have two droppers, as you can see, the wood one and then we have the seat one. The rest are all still like these are the old ones that came with the tycoon kit that i'm using so i'm going to need custom version of all of these and you know, a wood pillar dropper a wedge dropper cobblestone cobblestone pillar. I'll, I'll i'll show later anyway before we say anything else i have to start of course by saying yes Chill Thrill did give permission for me to make this, okay? Before anyone, because whenever I make a fan game, people always think I'm trying to steal the game. And I'm not a steal, steal game person, game stealer. I'm not a thief. I don't steal games. This is a fan game. It's not supposed to be like Build a Boat for Treasure. I have been uh, getting comments of people saying, oh, you should make it so that you can actually go on the river. But I feel, I don't know. I don't want it to be too close to real Build a Boat for Treasure because then I feel like I'm stealing the game, you know? So I don't want that. So basically, um, let's see, here we go. This is the proof that Chill Thrill gave me permission to make it. This is just um, a note that says it's still an early testing please don't di leave a dislike on the game because it's it's unfinished uh let's see you spawn here i'm going to make a spawn over there of course just like a normal build boat for treasure because right now it's just here uh and these are just sort of like the updates that i'm still making i'll show those later first let's look at what we already have we already have quite a lot okay so you get into one of the teams you get one million gold psych I'm just kidding, of course. You don't start with 1 million gold. This is just for testing. I'm in Roblox Studio right now for testing, okay? Uh, so you start with zero gold, obviously, but I have a million gold, so I can quickly unlock everything. So you start with the wood dropper. Look at it. It is super fast right now because I think I messed up the drop speed. I was just messing around with the drop speed and the conveyor speed and stuff like that. So don't worry, I will, I will balance that kind of stuff to get a good combination of... Uh, having like a decent speed at which you can complete the tycoon plus um, it not making too much lag like if, if everyone if all the droppers drop blocks this fast and there's seven tycoons in one server it's gonna lag for sure so <laughs> this one will have to be slower don't worry that will be fixed okay and every time in between your droppers you unlock a little piece of extra river so it's like a miniature version of the river as you can see this is the end but this isn't everything just you wait just you wait okay then we have the seed dropper the second block is the seed wait for it and the beautiful part of the seed is you can actually sit on it for no reason there's no you don't get any bonus if you sit on it but it's just funny you can sit on it. And sadly, these are the only two droppers that I have designed so far. So if you guys want to make designs as well, some of the viewers of the stream have made designs. Uh, I think it was Big Cola who made this one. Uh, or well, he made one that looks a lot like this. I, mean, I changed it a little bit so it fits better. So shout out to Big Cola for that one. Uh, as you can see, then the next one is just like... This is not one that I made. This is just like I started with a tycoon kit and I'm just sort of editing everything. So I'm just sort of editing a template. <laughs> I'm not making everything from scratch. Uh, so yeah, I still need someone to help me design a wedge. Oh no, wait, this is the trussing. Trussing dropper. Let's see, then we have the wood pillar dropper. Wedge dropper. This one dro drops the wedge. Ah, ah. <laughs> There we go, the pill. Oh, no, those are really slow. Okay, I see. Yeah, that really needs some fixing. Uh, let's see. Then we have the cobblestone dropper, cobblestone pillar. Uh, then we get the rust dropper and then probably the rust pillar dropper. And then we get the brick block dropper. They go around here. Chair dropper. Now, I don't know if I made it this one extremely slow. This one might take like half a minute. I think I messed some of them up. So some of them draw blocks very rarely. <laughs> yeah, I definitely messed some of them up a little bit. 
Yeah. Oh, why does it stop? I don't know why that happens. All right. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will be fixed. I don't know why the chair, the chair very often gets stuck and I don't know why. I think it's because the way you unlock the river in parts, which means that all the blue water you see is all these different parts, right? This part, this part, this part of blue water. And he gets stuck. The chair gets stuck in between those blue parts. I don't know. I'll fix that. I'll fi don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay. Then we have... Wait, what was this one? I missed it. Was this one uh, concrete? Yes, concrete, I think. And then... Oh, no, wait. This one's concrete. What is this one? Oh, balloons. Just drops a tiny white block. Uh, then we have the concrete pillar dropper. And the beauty of this is in between the droppers, you get an upgrader. Now, these upgraders aren't done, but let me show you what they will look like. You can probably already guess. Some of you probably already thought of this. Wait for it. Boom. They look like the levels. How do I... Yeah. Look at this. This one is the arcade level and they are upgraders. They don't work yet. I need to figure out the script. Uh, I need to watch a tutorial on that. But I have already designed them. I've already designed all 10 of the upgraders. But only five of them I've put in the game so far because I started making them in build boat for treasure. And then, of course, I had to rebuild them in this. So hang on. Can I go to build a boat for treasure uh, real quick? Let's see. That's also recording. Hang on. Ro record Roblox. Let's see. There we go. Ah, who's this? Oh, hi. OK, so yeah, I've made all of this in build a boat for treasure as a concept. So just to be clear, because I know a lot of people have made a small version of Build a Boat for Treasure once, mini version. This is not supposed to be just a normal mini version of Build a Boat for Treasure. This is supposed to be the conveyor for a tycoon game. So there's a difference. I hope you understand the difference. For instance, I don't build the sides of the levels and stuff. It's just like a wooden uh, fence. Please let me be in your uh, team. Uh, no thanks. Maybe later. I cannot spell while I'm recording because my microphone is on my keyboard. Um, okay, so this is just to show you the first five levels. So it's going to be this one. The clock tower one. The cherry blossom one with the fish. The crystal cave. And the dessert one. Okay, so all of those I have not yet put into the game. So that's why I'm in Build a Boat for Treasure. Just to show those. They will also be rebuilt in the studio. Okay, fine. You can join my team. Fine. Uh, be right back. There we go. I'll talk to him after I'm done recording, I guess. I don't know. You're in the video. Congratulations. All right, so... Those are going to be the first five upgraders. I don't know yet how much they will upgrade. Also, everything now costs a thousand gold, as you can see. <laughs> everything costs a thousand gold. Don't worry, I will also... Everything will still be balanced. So anything you see that's unfinished, obviously the game is not finished yet. This is just an announcement and showing how far we are so far. Uh, I didn't say what the droppers were. Um, let's see, we had concrete, concrete pillar, marble or glass or both. And then metal, metal pillar, neon, obsidian. Okay. I don't know if you can see them dropping because I messed up some of them, I think. I think I messed up some of them. Oh, there's a neon block. Yeah, I messed up the timing on some of them. I think some of them now only drop one block per half minute or something. That's that's a bit too slow. And the wood block dropper is too fast. <laughs> Look at it. Boom. Boom. You're too fast. Okay. Then at the end, I'm going to put a gold dropper and it's going to look more like double this, like a, like a portal or how do you say it, like over the end. And it will drop a gold block exactly down on the treasure. And as you can see, we now also have all the details. We, can, we actually have a mini version of the chest and the trees. Yeah, I really like this idea. And then when the blocks reach the end, just like a normal build boat for treasure, when they reach the end, they turn into money and you can collect the money. I don't know yet where I will put this thing. This is kind of hard to say where I'm going to put this thing. Because if I put it at the spawn, if the spawn is going to be there, then you have to keep running all the way there or resetting. This is kind of a good spot, I guess. Maybe I will keep it here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, actually. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, and then when you make it all the way to the end, 
while you already saw it in build a boat for treasure you unlock actually the start <laughs> so then you go all the way back here <laughs> yeah and then we have mini versions of all the teams and i might i don't know if i'll have this in the 1.0 version of the game you know the re first release version but eventually i want to put droppers that look like as if the people who were in this team the mini people have built a giant dropper and it drops a boat a mini boat and the mini boat goes to the end and i might put like plushies on the boat like one will be like a chill thrill dropper and it will be a boat and it will have chill thrill on it and also like Jesse, Zenak, Fabi, everyone who likes to play Billboard for Treasure on YouTube. And everyone, just everyone taking suggestions for that as well. But that will not be yet because we're in the alpha right now. And then the last thing you get right now in the current version. I'll put a link by the way if you already want to test it. You can also get an alpha tester badge if you complete the tycoon. You can already get that so link will be in the description if you want to test it and let me know all of your ideas um so far i'm pretty happy with this but i'm also working on a few decorations we won't have too many when the game comes out but i'm working on some decorations because right now of course all you unlock is i mean it's very decorative of course but all you get is the conveyor belt the droppers and the upgraders right technically speaking you don't get anything else uh oh yeah if you see anything falling from the skies because of these things ignore those those uh, i will delete those <laughs> so i've made my first decor decoration which is the walls i made those um i'm gonna make i'm going to put more buttons this is the only one we have so far i'm going to put more buttons uh where you unlock more walls and like the trees at the start and maybe you'll build like the default boat the one from the thumbnail the thumbnail boat somewhere here uh, maybe you'll build a little house. I don't know. I don't know. Give me ideas. I really need ideas for that one as well. But before you give me ideas, let me know or let me tell you what we already have planned. So here's my to-do list of the things that I will do in the next few streams. Uh, let's see. Remodel all the droppers after the thing they drop. That's of course here. We only have the wood one is built after the wood. This one is built. This one looks like the seat, as you can see. So this one will look like the trussing yes so etc and i have to do that for all 21 droppers uh, make the spawning area so yeah just that's now one big block of dirt <laughs> need to make that look more like the spawning area and build boat for treasure uh, make invisible wall for blocks to not fall off i kind of already did that so basically you know when they touch the end they get turned into money i I basically took that invisible block. There's like a big invisible block here that turns things into money, as you can see. Basically, I took a copy of that and put it flat on the floor. Oh, look at this one. You saw that? I don't know if you could see it, but one block just fall off the side. That Then it just gets sold because I put another version of the cell block all the way on the floor. You cannot see it. You cannot feel it. But if anything falls off now, it just gets sold. So kind of problem solved although i prefer if it just didn't fall off in the first place i already solved it a little bit by making the conveyor kind of slow it's now kind of slow it used to be twice this fast um yeah that, that's just that's just going to take a lot of tweaking the conveyor speed the drop speed uh all of that to make the server not lag stuff like that um Let's see, remodel the first five upgraders that I already made a build boat for treasure. So of course these five upgraders will look like this. Um, let's see, these five, this, 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 and this. I'm pretty happy with this one, especially. Look at how detailed it is. Oh, I cannot jump that high, no. Look at that. Uh, like. Guys, you have to like this video. The the giant sign. Oh, it's gone. The giant sign on the river told me that you have to like the video, guys. So what are you doing? Oh, he's building a ladder. That's nice. Thank you very much. Okay. These I don't know why I spend so much time making this so detailed when of course I still have to rebuild it in studio. But yeah, Crystal Cave. Everyone I think everyone who's a true build a boat for treasure player can really recognize these levels. 
And the blocks will go through this, and every time they hit an upgrader, they will become slightly more valuable, of course, because, well, that's how upgraders work in Tycoons. So, uh, okay, back to this. So I still have to make those. Um... Uh, actually make the upgraders work right right just not just the decorations but actually <laughs> there's no script in the upgraders so they don't actually do anything right now they don't actually make the blocks more valuable um so i need to fix that uh doo -doo 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 -doo. start working on decorations right 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 um also make an icon for the game i this game right now has no icon but some of the viewers in the stream said they wanted to make one, so I'm waiting to see if they make something cool. Uh, if they make something that I feel doesn't really represent the game, I might make something myself. Maybe like a big dropper dropping a block of wood on the river, something like that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, balancing. I already said I need to balance all the prices and everything. And then I think we will be ready for beta release. Then I need to make a safe system. I don't know how to make a safe system, so I'll have to watch a tutorial. But it would be cool that the money that you have actually saves so you don't have to restart every time. Um, also, we I've had a lot of people say, like, can you make player titles just like in Build a Boat for Treasure? In Build a Boat for Treasure, you have a title above your head, like this person has a royal member and I have Dino King. In Build a Boat for Treasure, yeah, or in our game, um, I'm going to try to watch a tutorial for that as well. Someone, uh, oh yeah, Dino Green. Dino Green already looked up the colors that you need to make that. I don't know what the font is, but yeah, we could make an alpha tester title for everyone who gets the badge. So if you still want that, make sure to play the game. Well, I honestly, there's still going to be like two weeks because I still have to do all of these things. Plus, there's not a problem I just saw that I need to fix as well. So... You have some time before the beta, then I will probably change the alpha tester badge into a beta tester badge. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably make, if I figure out how to make these titles, I'll probably make one where above your, above your head it says beta tester or something. We might, we might make some custom titles just for fun. Um, yeah, and then there's a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, let me just let me know what else you would like to see in the game. Uh, when I won't m release version 1.0 until I feel like everything is nice and working and balanced. And yeah, but keep an eye on it. If you can, visit the stream sometimes if you like this project. Sometimes I... Um, if you're in the Discord, I always shout out in the announcements when, I, when I'm streaming. Also, whenever I'm working on this, sometimes I uh, put a message in the Chill Thrill Discord as well. Uh, because, well, they have a special server in the Chill Thrill server where you can say if you made a Build Boat for Treasure video. And um, I decided why not just put the live stream in there as well. So there we go. So, I don't know what else to say in this video. I just remembered that I'm just going to record this and upload it to YouTube. Which means that there won't be any music. I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, I, now, I now realize, like, ah, oh, dang, I should have put a song below it. Maybe I will put a song below it, so it's not as boring. I don't know. I guess you'll see... I guess when you see this video, you'll know if there's a song. I don't know if I have enough time, because I'm uploading this video basically today after i'm done recording it so i don't know if i have enough time to put a song um sorry if there's no song uh let me know all your ideas that you have for build boat for treasure i do give credit i do give credit for people who give uh really good ideas that i've never thought of or who build things for instance this one shout out to bicola for this idea of this one I mean, some people give ideas that I already had and then, you know, I'm not going to give credit to like 10 different people who all had the same idea, basically. But if you really um, help out with the game, you definitely get credit in the game's description. And I might put a sign somewhere for credit. I'm not really sure. Anyway, that's not important. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you, I hope you like the idea of Build a Boat for Treasure Tycoon. I'm working really hard on it. For instance, this wall took me like an hour to make because I actually measured it in Build a Boat for Treasure. So it should have pretty much exactly the same size and color as in the real Build a Boat for Treasure. So yeah, I'm actually being quite um, 
meticulous is that the word about it so i hope you appreciate i hope you guys will play it either now or when it's finished um i think i've said everything there is to say thank you so much for watching don't forget stomp like a dinosaur stomp 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 stomp